Welcome to the Glass Bowl in Toledo, Ohio, home to the Toledo Rockets. A full house is in store, and so too, a terrific matchup in this one. Today, a battle in the Buckeye State, and battle lines will be drawn from Cleveland to Cincinnati. As we'll see a squad from the MAC, the Ohio Bobcats, taking on another team from the MAC, the Toledo Rockets. EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Rockets will put total leather to crank us up. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Bobcats offense takes the field to start this game off. And all eyes will be on this man because he is electrifying every time he touches the ball. I mean, so much fun to watch. Can hit home runs, can make big plays. Everything in this offense starts with that grown man. What I really like about him, too, is he's versatile, right? He can carry the rock. He can catch the football. He's good at blocking. This guy stays on the field for a reason. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Now on first and 10 from the 27. To the air. It's Navarro. He finds a soft spot in the middle. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Zings it complete to the right. They got him at the 42, but he got five yards on the play. And the Bobcats are marching down the field. Handoff to the lone back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Going downfield for the big play. He's got it on the right. Touchdown, Bobcats. That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. And what nice play design. You get your speedster, you put him in the slot, you usually get a better matchup. And then what do you do? You fade him towards that sideline, run a go. Nice ball thrown way out wide. He just runs underneath it and just too much speed. Couldn't catch him. Gets in the end zone for six. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards, and they close the deal with a 58-yard touchdown pass. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Rockets' offense will get the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Pass is complete near the sideline, but they'll lose yardage. They'll snap it from the 25 here on second and long. Back to pass, it's Gleason. He finds his man. Several defenders get an assist on that tackle. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains, and they'll mark it at the 44. The Rockets have it with a first and 10. They're getting this guy lathered up. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Off play action. Firing to the right complete. Tackled after picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. 
Running back searching for a hole. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. The inside handoff. Plows through the defense. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. He'll pull it on the read. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. Looking for a gap. It's Stewart. Smashes through. Pulled down after a pickup of four to the 27. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? It's a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. He got it. set to kick it away he'll bring it back from inside his spot didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17 the Ohio U offense returns to the field and David how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive and once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit you get in a little bit of rhythm it's really hard to stop Jesse and they're going to try to do it again right here and if you're this play caller you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out you're just looking at your play sheet everything you're picking is working let's see if they can pull it off again here just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Here's the handoff. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. The Bobcats are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. The gift to the back. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. Trying to pick up a first down. Scanning the field. It's Navarro. They're working that left side. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. Oh, man, what a missed opportunity. Big fella almost got to run with the ball. Instead, it falls incomplete and brings up second down. They'll run play action. Unloads to the wideout. Can't make the connection. The pressure there caused the missed timing. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. He'll off one deep down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And the Bobcats will punt this one away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. 
And the Rockets will line up to punt it away. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. So the first play of the drive will come from the 43. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Caught in the backfield, it's Williams. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pickup, and they'll move the chains with the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Leaves it with the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Hand off from the gun. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Trying to pick it up on the ground. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. The Bobcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll try to pop the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They've got him looking wrong, but they're going to throw it. Makes the grab. It's Hendricks. And he's down after making the catch, but did not reach the line to gain. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. And they'll send out the field goal unit. This try will come from the left hash, and he'll try to curl it in from 38. And this one splits the uprights. After the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Rockets offense is back on the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play-action attempt. So now they'll try to mitigate that disaster on second down from the 15. Dropping back, it's Gleason. Throws to the wideout. Can't make the catch, and it'll be third down. He had that thing and just lost his concentration. He's looking downfield to throw. Fires to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. The Rockets decide to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Looking for a block. It's Owen. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Right down the middle. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. On second down, looking to throw. Intercepted. He'll go out of bounds, but just what they needed to get the ball back. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel in the field, you want to run the ball against it because you got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. 
Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Looking to pass. It's Gleason. He's got it. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. They'll throw it on first down. He's right on target. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Now they've got it at the 44 on first and 10. He wants to throw. That's caught. It's Newton. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Off the RPO, fire right, trying to convert. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the change. It's first down at the 27. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Threw his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time. It's second down. On the ground, it's Stewart. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. And the Rockets have pushed it inside the 20. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. And the defense stands up this offensive line and stuffs him right at the line of scrimmage. He didn't get it. They'll try it on the ground. The Rockets will keep this drive going. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. To throw, it's Gleason. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Toledo. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now in the game. Ready to try the point after. right down the middle they took it 71 yards down the field and the score comes on a 17 yard throw for the touchdown after that latest answer tied things up just about set to kick it away again here he comes from inside his own five nice job by the kickoff team everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. ohio takes over the bobcat offense heads to the field from the gun leaves it on the inside with the back Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. It's a draw. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Short completion along the sideline will be enough for the first down. And the Bobcats will line it up on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. Dropping back, it's Navarro. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. The Bobcats line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. 
Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. They go to the ground. Sweet cut there. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the tight end. At the 35, he's got room. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws to turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. And the Rockets are in the hurry up. They go to the draw. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Wants to throw, it's Gleason. Gets it out fast. Boy, that was a precision play all the way around. Throw, catch, tackle, bang, bang, bang. The Rockets have pushed it inside the 20. Trying to get to it. Complete on third down. Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Rockets! What a grab and go for the score. Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was capped off with an impressive 18-yard touchdown run. Fielded in the end zone. It's Pearson. And the returner goes down. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Find some space, enough to get five to the 22. They'll need to convert this third down from their own 22 to get this drive jump-started. Off the RPO complete. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stopped. They'll run it from the gun. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll try the run. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? He'll do it himself. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat lines. And they've swapped ends of the field, and we'll get it going in the second. And the Bobcats are on the move. They try to pop a run on the draw. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. He'll keep it himself. 
They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. The Bobcats will have it first and ten. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Offense gets set for second down. They'll give it to the back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. And guys, they've come through on the first two third down tries. This one might be a little tougher. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And the Bobcats send out the punt unit. And that is an excellent punt as it lands out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. The Rockets offense is back on the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Let's just slip right through his hands, and it'll be fourth down after the rare drop from this dude. He'll call for the fair catch here. Good field position to start this drive at their own 47. Give to the running back. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. They're bringing heat. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Sometimes you beat your guy, and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. The Bobcats will call on their punt team. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah. Oh, what a spectacular. Spectacular layout and catch. And the Rockets hit it quickly to the line. Man, I, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop. Looking for a man. It's Gleason. Throws to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. The Rockets will bring the punt team onto the field. What a terrible, terrible shame. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. 
looking to the big tight end. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And the Bobcats come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. They'll try to power their way ahead. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. The Bobcats are moving quickly down the field. Takes the handoff. It's Hunt. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. So after the huge chunk play, they've got it first and goal from the 10. He leaves it with his back. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Ohio! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. He'll try to tack on one more. Bangs it through for an extra point. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. Hold and fire complete. Bust through behind his pad. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. To the air, it's Gleason. Looking for a deep man. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And the Rockets will try to pin them back with the punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Fair catch called for and made. Ohio takes over. The Bobcat offense heads to the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? It'll be first and 10 from the 30. The give to the tailback. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Let's see what they do on third down. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Didn't get much. Picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. And the Bobcats will send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. 
on the move. It's Newton. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. The Rockets' offense is back on the field. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Maurice, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Back to pass. It's Gleason. He, he hurls one deep down the left side. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. They'll get this drive started from the 29. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. Got three on first down at second and seven. From the gun, give on the inside. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. On third down, going up top. The throw to the outside is complete. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they've got it at the 42. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy, and right now they got it going on the ground. The defense is gonna have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you, so you might wanna get a little bit more aggressive. Pulls and throws off the RPO. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Bully ball on third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Bobcats will punt it away on fourth down. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front at the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a ton of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punter. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. They've got their quarterback right now in a groove. The run from the shotgun. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Trying to impose their will with the run. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. Looking to throw, it's Gleason. And the defense gets to the quarterback. This defense will bring pressure from the linebacker level, from the cornerback level, free safety level, and the strong safety level. They're bringing it from all over the field. The Rockets will punt this one away. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Takes the handoff. It's Hunt. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. 
from the gun. Running back gets to give. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to throw deep right side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. To the ground with the back. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking for a man. It's Gleason. Let's it fly. Wide open. He makes the catch. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Toledo. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. And if you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of score. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a big play up top, going 63 yards to the house. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Tom. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. Unloads to the wideout. And they fail to hook up on third down. And the Bobcats will line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tapped. Let's see if they can get something going here late in the half. Looking to throw, it's Gleason. Fires to the right. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. And now on second down for this offense. Leaves it with the back. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. And he'll chuck that one away and save the down. Nobody was able to get open. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Throws to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. They'll throw it on first down. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Got it set up on the outside. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Had it right in his hands in the middle of the field, and it trickled to the ground. It'll be fourth down. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. After 
after putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And here's the return. That is a decision he will likely regret. He brings it out of the end zone, and he's knocked down at the 10. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. He'll start this drive firing. Not a and down he goes back at the three. This is a tough part of the field. You want to try to create some space and, and give yourself an opportunity not to throw out of your own end zone. They didn't hold up in protection. They give up the sack, but thank goodness they didn't give up a safety. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Power football with the run. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Bobcats decide to punt it away. He's got great speed. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Offense set on first down. He's going to pass. Getting some heat. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front. They're able to get to the quarterback. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. To the air, it's Gleason. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. What a beautiful throw and catch. And I'll tell you, sometimes when you're throwing the go route, you can overanalyze things and think, what coverage do we want it against? What matchup are we looking for? But if I've got a guy outside that I know could go make a play, I don't care. I'm throwing it up, and I'm letting him go make a play. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Right through his hands. You just have to make that catch, and it'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Fires left. Got it! And he will score! Touchdown, Rockets! How about the day for this young fellow? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. Let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence and the officials will change the call. From the gun, he'll try to throw. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. And with just a few seconds remaining here in the first half, they'll try to kick a field goal. Good right down the boulevard. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A spirited environment there in Toledo. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. 
And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside the glass bowl. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll bring it out. It's Stewart. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. The Rockets offense is back on the field. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. And I think this team knew going into halftime trailing, their defense was going to have to step up here in the second half. And on the very first play, the third quarter, they get a sack. That is good news for this defense. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Looking for room. It's Stewart. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Throws to the tight end. And that pass intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. Man, this is how we do it. Defensively, you go into halftime, you make adjustments, you talk about... We've seen him do this. We've seen him do that. Let's get ready for it. Let's have a plan. Plan executed. You could tell they knew what was coming, did a great job defensively, forced an interception right out the gates to start the second half. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but, man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Coming after him. And they can't make the connection on third down, but hold everything. There is a flag. Let's see what that's about. So the offense gets an automatic first down after the roughing the passer penalty. And guys, bringing the heat is what any defense is about, but you have to stop short of making that. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Ohio. His defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pick up a four. So what do they have for third and short from their own 23? Looking downfield, it's Gleason. Throws for the tight end. A strike downfield. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. And the Rockets want to pick up the tempo. And Jesse he just keeps piling up numbers over 350 yards for the game. And I feel like from the get-go, Reese, this guy's just been in a great rhythm all game long. He just seems like he's dialed in, and man, he's been accurate throwing the rock. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Trying play action. Snagged in the middle, it's Torres. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. The Rockets are flying down the field. 
from the gun, the ground game. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They'll run it out of the shotgun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. They'll need to get this one to the 31 here on third down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he'll go out of bounds, and this aerial attack just continues to carve this defense into tiny slices. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. He makes a grab. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. Get you some of that. And with that completion, now he's over 400 yards on the day. That's a really, really good game for this quarterback. He's been almost flawless. And the Rockets trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Toledo. Follow the block. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. It didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Let's see if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. Back to throw. It's Gleason. He's got the two-point conversion, and they build on that lead. They go 83 yards on the drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Makes a connection. Running toward the tape. Just making a huge play, and he sets him up all the way down at the 14. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and 10 in the red zone. Going to the run, it's Hunt. Listen, you, you gotta be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Give to the back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. To the air, it's Navarro. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And he missed it. No good. Guys, the missed field goal and nothing changes. Still a 14-point game. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Quickly complete. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just 
get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. The Rockets line up to punt it away. He's able to pick his way for just a bit, but he'll be stopped at the 18. Good job by the punt team. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. And the Bobcats send out the punt unit. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. The Rockets offense is back on the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. They're going to run it. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The play action fake. Got his man quickly. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Might be decision time if the defense can get a stop on third down from the 45. Grabbed in the middle. It's Newton. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking downfield, it's Gleason. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And this is going to be incomplete on third. And the Rockets will call on their punt team. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. After that one, not quite so backed up as they're up to the 18-yard line. Now on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. 
They'll go to the ground. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Running back searching for a hole. At the 45 on his way. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Might as well give it to him again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The negative play leaves him with second and 12. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Using that running game to bludgeon forward. He's got four down to the 35. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. It's good. Easy call for the refs. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Looking for blockers. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. Things have been clicking along nicely, Jesse, but they have to make sure they keep it up. Yeah, they got to wake up. It seems like they've been a bit lazadaisical here the last few drives, maybe, as we've seen this lead dwindle a little bit, David. So they need a bit of a spark here to get that mojo back. Yeah, and you always have the adjustments, and then your opponent adjusts, and now they got to readjust now because this game's getting a little bit tighter than they liked. Back to throw. It's Gleason. Pressure coming. Got rid of it just in time. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. They'll put the ball in play from just inside their own 40 at the 39. Here's the handoff. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. The give to the back. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Almost had the completion, just missed it. The Bobcats will bring the punt team onto the field. They'll look to pin him deep. He'll bring it back. It's Newton. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. Snags it quickly on the left. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. On second down, they'll take to the air. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Really hit the afterburners, kid. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. And what a huge play for the offense. Hitting that throw not only is big for their confidence, but it also flips the field. That last big play has them in business. Just outside the red zone, it's first and ten. Looking to throw, it's Gleason. Using the quick game. A seven-yard pickup, it'll be second and three. The Rockets are threatening in the red zone. Got it behind the line, it's Torres. 
And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. They want to just keep throwing it. And he was looking over the middle and couldn't make the connection. Perhaps emboldened by converting a fourth down earlier in the game, they'll try a second time. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Touchdown, Rockets! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Like a Thanksgiving turkey, they're just being hard. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyway. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Uh -huh. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Just a pickup of a couple out to the 15-yard line. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. They stop him after a short game. Probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. And the Bobcats will try to pin them back with the punt. Slips through the line. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The offense lining up for a first down play. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Well, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Holds and fires complete to the right. Knocked down at the 34 after a pickup of five. It's a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, running back on the move. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. They'll run it from the gun. That's a 20. He's got space. Touchdown, Toledo. And the punishment has been extended. So a crease, nothing but green grass and opportunity, and he flashed through it for six. And when you can get 30-plus yards out of your running back and he can make big plays like this, man, it's hard to call a lot of passes. I'm just going to feed this guy the rock. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Movement here from the tight end. Hand off from the shotgun. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. The Bobcats will snap it on first and 10. Leaves it with the running back. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. 
Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. They go to the ground. There to make the tackle, and with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Caught in the backfield, it's McCormick. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Then the short completion brings up second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. They'll try the run. Got enough space. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Bobcats. He has spent a lot of time in that end zone today. An absolute assault on the scoreboard. No doubt about it. And guess what? I get to make a lot of highlights. I, I can copy and paste all of these touchdowns, show everybody the game I had and the defense. Well, you're just going to have to shake your head because you've been getting dominated. Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good. An 84-yard drive there. And the finisher came on a terrific 24-yard run to the house. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Rockets offense is back on the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute it. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. He'll pull it on the read. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give. Good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Give to the running back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Lining up trying to convert this third and short from the 40. He'll do it himself. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. And the Rockets look to keep this drive humming. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Nice move to keep moving. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? He had to fight for a couple down to the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give out of the gun. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. Running back goes in motion. Dropping back, it's Gleason. They're trying to get to him. Takes the easy one to the back. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. The Rockets have moved it inside the 20. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Already in field goal range, but now trying to convert this third and long from the 20. Out of the gun, the inside give. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. 
This kicker's leg is getting a workout. He's already made three field goals, and here he comes again. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And they'll push that lead out a little further. Starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll bring it out. It's Pearson. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. Pocket starts to collapse. Got him downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. To the air on first down. Pulls it in. It's Owen. And he goes down after making the grab. Picked up a few, but he's still short of the first down marker. On second down, he'll fire. Finds his tight end. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the... And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long with players like that getting after him. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Back to throw. It's Navarro. Trying to beat the D deep. He's got it inside the 25. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. And man, he had nobody around him. That has got to be embarrassing for this defense. When you let someone that deep downfield go completely uncovered. And the Bobcats have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Now on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And they'll come to the line trying to take a slice out of this lead on third and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Bobcats. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. The AT unit on the field. Smashes it through for the PAT. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead there. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. And the Rockets racing to the line in the hurry up. Out of the gun, the give to the back. One step, wrap, two step, squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Finds a tight end. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. 
Now on third down for this offense. Fires to the big fella. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. The Rockets are rolling down the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. He's got his man. Tackle is made at the 27. Let's give him 10 yards on the play, and it is enough for a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Stevens. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And the Rockets have it with a first and ten. Gets it out quickly. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. A third and long coming up here. Quick strike complete. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And now the lead is extended a little far. That lead just keeps getting fatter, and this kickoff team doing a little running. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. To the air. It's Navarro. Safe completion on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. He's going to pass on second down. Caught near the sideline, it's Owen. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Looking to throw for it. Try fires one high and deep. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. Quarterback on the keeper. He's not going to make it. And what a big stop for this defense. And they might be able to put this thing away. Oh, it's a reverse. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. It'll be a draw. Not much room. A pickup of two down to the 28. Third play of the drive, and they need to make something happen here on third and long. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And now the lead is even bigger. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. We'll see if that failed fourth down in their own end last time, David, sort of curbed some of the aggressiveness. 
Well, you hear about it all the time in football. Go for it. Be aggressive. The problem is when you get stopped, sometimes it puts you in a hole. And, Jesse, now the offense has to come out and respond. They were real disappointed not getting that first down. You could see it on the sideline. So let's just see if that's kind of galvanized them a little bit here to go make a statement and get some points. You open a drive like that, and the entire playbook opens up on first down from the 44. Back to pass. It's Navarro. They're bringing heat. It's complete on the right side. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Clock is under four minutes as they come to the line for second down. He's looking to throw. Feeling some heat. Going up top. He holds it in, and nobody's close. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. You know, as the head coach of this team, this is one positive you're going to take away from this game is that your players don't quit, and they're still willing to fight. There's obviously a lot of things they've got to iron out offensively, and we've seen that today. But I do love the grit they're showing here late, still trying to make plays. They'll try the counter. They get him on the ground, a six-yard run in the red zone down to the 11. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Looking to throw on second down. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio! Wow, what a play. We got, we're going to need to see that again to make sure he makes this catch and gets the foot in bounds. That was a great acrobatic play understanding where you're at on the field to make that big catch lining up to add another splits those uprights right in half a very efficient five play scoring drive if they're going to pull off this big rally, they'll need to get this one back. They line up for the onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack. Get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. He's knocked down at the 34, but they're sort of hitting them in the mouth with a six-yard pick up there. He'll pull it on the read. There's a live football. Oh, it looks like the offense was able to recover it. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Let's see what they have dialed up as this drive starts from the 29-yard line. Scanning the field, it's Navarro. He's going up top here late in the game. And he dropped it. Oh, what a missed opportunity. Nobody around just had too much time to think about it. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Catch in the middle. It's Dennis. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. He's got an open man. And he was off to the races, finally tripped up at the 36. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. He'll come out throwing on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Owen. Makes a grab, and he's dragged down. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. He's looking to throw. Outside the pocket, lets it go. And on that incompletion, I think the quarterback was being just a bit too careful, trying to throw that ball too far outside, obviously aware that the defenders are coming from the inside. You don't want to put it behind the intended. A shot toward the end zone. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. 
No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. Quarterback will take a knee. The defense can stop it one more time, but we are close to being all she wrote. 